Good evening, good morning and good afternoon. My name is Chris German. I'm gonna show you how I approach and tattoo this eye. This is a short version. It's more about me explaining how it is. I'm gonna have a longer version to pay the full time, full time video. If you have any question, let me know. Send me a text or leave a comment and I will provide a link to this for a real time. But anyway, let's see. So this is the stencil. The stencil machine I use, it's an Epson inkjet. The details you can find on the net if you look for tattoo Epson inkjet. Uh, this mo the part what's modified about it, they fill in the ink tanks with actually stencil stuff. And as you can see, the details is phenomenal, the way they print the stencil. Now, my approach about the stencil, the, I tend to prepare a lot of my stencils beforehand. So it gets easier for me working to have all the de details I need. And I think it's for the, my style of realism or hyper realism. It helps. I mean, those lines are not hyper realism. So don't get twisted in your head right now trying to leave a nice comment. No, those are just lines. But the eye himself, it should be. Actually, to be honest, on this tattoo, himself, it, tat on, on this tattoo, I approach it more like a, to be a stronger version of it so it's not really super hyper realism it's more like a graphic realism i would say anyway that's one of those things now doing the lines there is a three liner and as you can see i build up the lines uh i know there are experts out there they may say that uh, one pass line is the, it's enough on my knowledge or my years of tattooing, I learned that actually building up the lines, they last longer, they look fresher, they, for a very long time. And one pass is actually bleeds out and they tend to fade out very fast. Again, I use a rotary machine, I don't use a coil. And sometimes the coils, that they do need to build up the lines more as the skin doesn't damage that much like the coils. Any questions, leave a comment. Any answers, I leave a comment probably. Anyway, so the guy had this idea of, uh, he said on the internet, this eye with, a, with, a, with all these rays. And of course I choose a realistic eye. I choose different types of rays. I build it up on Photoshop. I use Photoshop for most of my stuff. I tend to don't draw it which I think realism has nothing to do with the uh, drawing a tattoo. So the way I approach this one, I usually approach for the bottom up, but especially this case, as you can see, I went around it. I start from the bottom, then was right, then was left, and the eyes in the middle. And over here, definitely you can see the way I build the lines in real time. You go, I pinch it, I use the three liners, so I kind of pinch it, I don't really go deep. And I really try to go two, three times over the line. And as I explained earlier, it tends to last a lot better. There you go, I use a one liner right here. And this, being a, using it actually for, for, a, for eyelashes, you need to be a lot thinner. Uh, the texture I do with the three liner, as you can see, I work on the tip of my li liner. So I stick it out a little bit longer, and that prevents the ink of the flow to don't smudge like it's happening right now. Wait to see, wait to see. So, so there you go. You see what happened right there? As soon as my tip hit, touch the skin, the actually the I lose a lot of ink, so it gets very muddy and smushy. So that's a work on the tip of the liner. It's perfect to keep the keep the tattoo clean and the area the working area clean. Now, as you can see on the top, I left it open because I couldn't work around it, like the the the, the blue rays there. I'm working the eye, and I'm and I'm gonna work that after or when the eye is prepared. As you can see, it's very important the way I hold the ink. Like I'm, I'm trying to, when I stretch the skin, I'm trying to not stretch it over the, the stencil is done. 
so to keep it for hours and hours basically a good stencil should last anything from six hours uh, the way I approach the details I kind of map everything as you see right now and then right now basically I'm mapping it and then I'm gonna re build it up and make it stronger it's done so again this is a video shortcut of a video you just kind of see the way I approach the tattoo the real time is be up to on the online for sale I'm gonna have it a full-time video if you want it I can provide the link and you can see step by step comments wise I'm gonna put some actually audio over that stuff now again if you want me to do videos to explain everything on a on a tattoo please leave some comments if not that's cool and yeah this is kind of time consuming so usually I just put music on I it looks like people don't like when I have music on or people think I'm a DJ and want to please them with the music they want and I'm not a DJ, I'm a tattoo artist if I'll be a DJ probably I'll have a music channel and sadly people do confuse tattoo channel with music channel and sadly I cannot actually accommodate everyone man like I I don't even care about the music I put on first of all yeah I don't even know why I'm talking about the music the white, the white I work with white I use the white to push it in with the, this time with the one liner, I, I go to every little details I need. And there was the three liner for bigger area. Uh, white is very, I use it a lot. And some people don't like to use it, some people like, I love to use white. I do think over time it stands and it makes the, at least for my style of tattooing, it makes the tattoo stand out, to stand out a little bit more. Over time it seems to blend and it gives it more heaviness of it. Like if you use black and gray only, it gets flat over time. And when you use some white, it does give that perception of depth. And I do use white a lot. I mean, um, as you can see, if you check my Instagram, my style of tattooing, I do white. Actually, even my videos on YouTube. I'm talking about my videos. Check all of them. I have hundreds of videos. Not all of them. I pretty much none of them. I explained what I explained on this one. Whatever I explained on this one. So here you go. This is the finished product. He has to come back for another tattoo, so I'm gonna touch it up. Usually I prefer to work and touch up the tattoo one more time if I can the situation, if I can. All my touch-ups are free and they... I always tell the people to come back to... This is how it looks from a photo with a camera, nothing alterated. It's... It's just probably left 10-15 minutes. So you see the style is not like realistic. And this is my sunset from my home. The style, the style I used for that one wasn't too realistic. It was more like a graphic realistic. Look how beautiful it is. I love Miami. Bye. Let me know how you like this.